we will have one speaker who will give reflections on behalf of all the graduates. Speaking for the graduates will be Lisa Jones. Lisa has completed her studies in the college's Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree program with a 3.92 GPA. She is a member of the New Jersey Collegiate Business Administration Honor Society, the Alpha Sigma Lambda National Honor Society, and the Sigma Beta Delta International Honor Society. Prior to coming to Thomas Edison State College, she graduated with honors from Fayetteville Technical Community College with an associate degree in paralegal technology. She is currently employed by A.W. Martin Construction Incorporated in East Windsor, New Jersey. She is an active member and volunteer at Christ Episcopal Church in Bordentown, New Jersey, and works extensively with the township green team and community garden. Ms. Jones. Good afternoon, President Pruitt, trustees, esteemed faculty, honored guests, family members, friends, alumni, and my fellow graduates. I am honored and humbled to stand before you today as a student speaker at commencement. Congratulations to all of the graduates of the fall 2013 class of Thomas Edison State College. Please join me in thanking two important groups of people. First, the mentors and staffs at Thomas Edison who guided us on our journey. Second, our family, friends, and countless others who put up with us during our quest. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found in settling for a life that is less than one you are capable of living. Today is proof we all face the challenges of not settling. I am certain that each of us had one motivation that was so strong it became a shining beacon of light even during our darkest student hours. My beacon was a promise I made to my son. We lost my husband to cancer, and as his caregiver, I closed my business. Less than a year after our loss, the company I then worked for closed unexpectedly. When I told our son, he bravely asked if we were going to be okay. I answered yes, no matter what it takes, we will be fine. Soon I discovered that most employers would not consider my resume because I had experience, but not a degree. I turned to Thomas Edison because it was the only college that could keep up with my schedule. I was a single mom working from home while renovating our downsized house. Collectively, our resumes have changed substantially. They list our degrees and our honors, but they also hint at the different people we've become. Surprisingly, I've been asked how finishing my degree online, as opposed to a traditional college, has prepared me for the real world. Honestly, I've never had a job where my boss wrote everything I needed to know on a whiteboard. I have been given some scribbles on a napkin and been told, this is where we want to go, figure out how to get us there. Online learning has required us to work independently. We've had incredible support, but we were not coddled. Collaborating with others in distant places has become second nature. We've known each other and worked together for years, but today is the first time many of us are meeting face to face. We've honed a broad range of computer skills and proven we're not intimidated by technology. Our 2 a.m. battles with the computer have prepared us for what lies ahead. Think about it. 
that technology that is the driving force in our chosen fields five years from now may not have been invented yet, but we're ready. During our studies, setting, be goal, setting goals became a survival skill. Unlike students who attend college directly out of high school, our lives are more challenging and complex. We have families, homes, jobs, and businesses that require us to set numerous goals and work towards them simultaneously. One of our long-range goals was to earn a degree, but that was only one area of our lives. I will be the first to admit that frequently my short-term goals were not lofty. Often they were to get six hours of sleep or finish the laundry. But I continued because I had a promise to keep. We are experts at prioritizing and balancing conflicting objectives. We know our shining beacons of light can become our greatest distractions. That is why the important out-of-town meetings always fell during midterms. We read homework and posted to discussion boards in some very unusual places. We've lugged books through countless airports to teacher conferences and meetings. No matter how much homework we had, other areas of our lives still required our attention. After all, our shining beacon still expected us to make the big game. As former online students, you know all of this. What is more difficult to understand is the impact we've had on others. While we were sleep deprived, searching for answers, and struggling to master new skills, others saw us as courageous, determined, and unwavering. While our shining lights kept us on our paths, our success has been an example to others. Thomas Edison said, if we all did the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Today begins a new chapter of our lives. I'm confident we will continue to seek our passion, astound ourselves, and live the lives we are capable of living. Good luck to each and every one of you. And remember, in the eyes of many, you were already a success.